June 6 marks the nation's 64th Memorial Day. However, about 3,000 bodies of fallen soldiers who fought during the Korean War wasn't buried at the National Cemetery due to lack of space. President Moon Jae-in promises to complete creation of the Jeju National Cemetery by 2021. Todd Thacker reports. After years of delays, construction at Jeju National Cemetery is finally building momentum. The cemetery will sit on 270,000 square meters of land at the Patriot Cemetery in Nohyeong-dong, Jeju City. The project has a budget of over 52 billion won. Plans for the National Cemetery were initially drafted in 2012. But due to the proximity of the proposed site to other cultural properties, there were delays in securing planning permission and the expropriation of land. The plans were approved last year by the Environmental Impact Assessment Committee, and private land at the site was purchased. Now all that remains is administrative approval for the use of forest land and the issuing of building permits. At the national level, funding for the cemetery has also been secured. President Moon Jae-in invited people of national merit and families of patriots and veterans to the presidential residence for a Memorial Day lunch. At the gathering, he reaffirmed his promise to complete Jeju National Cemetery. The Patriot Cemetery in Jeju City, which was built in 1982, has 1,500 plots. The remains of 1,115 people are interred there, which means it is currently 74% full. About 3,000 fallen soldiers who fought in the Korean War were buried elsewhere for lack of space at the Patriot Cemetery. Once Jeju's 10,000-plot national cemetery is complete, the remains of these fallen soldiers will be moved to their final resting place. Jeju National Cemetery is a long-held wish for the loved ones of Korea's fallen soldiers and patriots. For the memory of those who sacrificed so much and for their families, it is hoped that the project goes smoothly and is completed on schedule. Todd Thacker, KCTV.